Hi, this is the Professional Amateur Hour coming to you with another review. This week, I checked out Intergalactic Combat. Or, if you're trying to find it on Tubi, it's listed under Team 1. And so if you're looking for it, yeah, look for Team 1. Anyways, this movie was directed by Ray Brady and stars Gordon Alexander, Elizabeth Tan, and Neil Raymond, among others, of course. The story of this movie is that there are actual aliens in the universe, so they come to Earth, and they say, you know, Earthlings, you can participate in the intergalactic community. However, they run it through this, like, fighting competition. I don't know why, but, uh, yeah, so they say, you know, Earthlings, you have one year, we'll be back, find your best fighters, and you'll be able to participate in the intergalactic fighting competition. And so this movie follows a bunch of people in the UK as they do the kind of the system of trials to try to figure out who's best for the UK team. And then, of course, they'll go to the international team and then hopefully the intergalactic team. But who will make it, though? Well, you have to watch the movie and find out. All right, so let's discuss this movie. Well, what can I say that's positive about this movie? Well, with this one, since it is, you know, about that fighting tournament, they have a lot of fighting in this one. And for the most part, it's enjoyable fighting. I would probably say like 80% of the movie is just people fighting each other. And so there is lots of it. I did enjoy all the different types of fighters as well. They have different ones, you know, female fighters that have a special style. There's one girl who like drops her shoulder and is ready to, you know, punch with the other hand. There's a bunch of guy fighters as well. There's one that's clearly into like Taekwondo with, with the gi and everything like that. There's a bouncer guy, and I think he was my favorite. I couldn't find him in the credits, though. His name was like Ricky Roy or something in it, and I couldn't find that character in the credits. So who knows what happened there, but lots of different fighters, and lots of them that, you know, you like to root for them. They also have, like, ninjas and stuff that pop in there as they start fighting as well. And so there's lots of fighting, and I gotta say, for the most part, it's a blast just to watch these guys fight. So all of that type of stuff is definitely pretty good. Other than that, this movie is pretty funny, but probably for the wrong reasons. With this one, their CGI is like just so bad, I had to laugh at it. It was very really kind of charming how they all do it. With the aliens, you only see them for like a minute or two, but when you see them, they just look so silly. And they're like flipping aliens, like they're just doing flips and stuff. I don't know what's up with them, but <laughs> they're funny to laugh at for sure. So check this out. They are superb warriors. But they are also opponents who never show mercy. In addition to the aliens, they do have some like fights that have not green screen, but like they've keyed out the, the walls and just put in whatever they wanted. And it's like done in like a high school gymnasium. So you can see the wooden floor still and you can see all the markings for basketball or whatever it is on there. And so you're just like, <laughs> this is just so ridiculous. Like then you should be fighting like against the wall, right? So you, it looks better. But no, they've included all of the markings for basketball on there. You can see some in the examples up here. And even like within the fight, sometimes the background will like shift halfway through and you're just like, oh, okay, why choose that moment? You, I don't know. Also, they've like, there's one fight where they kind of like key it out wrong. They've keyed out like the balcony. So certain angle shots, like it will be correct. But then just like face on, you can just see the, the high school walls. And they still have like the posters on the wall and stuff like that. So all of this business with this background stuff is really entertaining, really kind of funny. So yeah, it definitely adds for some laughs. Furthermore, this movie does use, you know, real life settings. And all of them definitely look cool. They have like a bridge with ninjas somewhere in London. They have like an underground bar. They have this cool alley with lots of graffiti. And of course, all of the gymnasium stuff as well. And so all of the, you know, just settings and locations they're doing that definitely, you know, add this feeling where it's happening all over London. So that, yeah, also works as well. And that brings me to what doesn't work with this film. Well, with this one, it's not really a movie, unfortunately. It's really just these fight scenes just kind of all shoved together. They have like the thinnest of plot with that alien thing in the beginning. But as for characters, like they'll just like show up and start fighting and you're like, okay, this is like a, a cool little fight, but who is it? I don't know. And then they'll just like introduce a new person, not even introduce, just that person will like walk in into a fight and start fighting. 
And so it's not even like you don't even know their names. You have know nothing about them. They barely even talk to each other. And when they do, it's very kind of odd, I would say, kind of odd, awkward dialogue. And so it's really just there for the fights put back to back. And so it's not really a movie at all. It's one of those things where it's like kind of the best of the worst, where they're failing spectacularly. And that's what you love about it. But as for story, characters, not there. So yeah, if you're looking for that, stay away. Other than that, I will say that the shooting for the fight scenes is pretty good. It's just everything outside of the fight scenes is kind of shot poorly. It's just very kind of flat, very dull. And then also with like the camera work itself, like there's a few scenes where like they zoom in on a character and then they start zooming out and you're like, why would you even like press the buttons when, when they're acting, right? So these things, you just have to ask yourself, like, why is this happening? Like, it, it's really an odd contrast between the fight scenes and just, you know, all the talking scenes because the fight scenes are done well. It just doesn't make sense that, you know, these other other scenes are just done so poorly. So who knows what it's all about? But yeah, that's definitely an issue. Other than that, there are certainly some like questionable scenes in this one. They have like some racist characters who, you know, they're trying out for the UK team and they don't want other people to be part of the UK team and that type of stuff. So it just seemed like an unnecessarily kind of thing to throw in there. And it doesn't go anywhere. It's never expanded upon. And like none of the other characters kind of realize that's what these characters are trying to do. So yeah, it's just some things that never pay off. So it just kind of seems like it's not the most, you know, thought out story if, they're, if they consider the story at all, right? So yeah, it's just one of those things where they fail so spectacularly, and that's what I'm there for. So who would I recommend this movie for? Well, if you like laughing at movies, then this is probably a good one for you. It certainly has that quality where it's like the best of the worst. So it's not like a good bad movie where like it's entertaining on different levels. This one's just like something spectacular to watch where you just can't believe half the stuff they're doing. And you're just asking yourself like, why and who and what is this going on? And so all of that type of it, you know, viewing experiences in there. So if that sounds like something you want, then yeah, check this one out. As for rating, well, I'll give it the 3.4 because it was hilariously bad. And with that being said, I think that's all I wanted to say. So like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.